I'm gonna change things in here because it's not working. This Papasan, though very cute and comfy, I never sit here and read. This also just becomes a dumping ground for clothes, but we gotta zhuzh things up, keep putting boxes over there. The desk constantly gets messy and my chair is currently hiding all the products I just recently purchased to kind of make over my room, which includes <laughs> these green curtains, which I'm so excited to hang up and have blackout curtains. I think that would really help. And I haven't hung up any of the posters and things that I wanted to, like they're over here. Again, more dumping ground was an interesting decal test. Uh -huh. I don't like it. We are gonna change this room so it feels as cozy as it needs to be. I've been sketching out in my journal. Actually, let me grab my journal. Okay, in my journal, I constantly am trying to figure out ideas for my room layout. I really, really, really want to switch to floating shelves so I can get more floor space. I also don't know if I want to eliminate so much space by getting like a full mattress. So that was an idea that I really, really was like, yes, let's do it. But I don't have the money for all of these little things. It's too much. So I kind of made up a plan that didn't involve buying new furniture. I was just like, okay, let me just use what I have and purchase a few, a few, few, few things. I'm gonna try this new layout and see if it allows for a cozy reading corner, a nice work corner, and then a good sleeping corner. That is the goal. Those are the three things, the three priorities. And oh, I actually, I did purchase a few new exciting things for a career shift. I'm still an actor, still love making content, all that stuff. So this is a acting shift that I want to make that aligns with book loving too. I guess you can comment down below what you think I'm talking about, but I'm gonna make a whole series about it because I'm excited about it. <sighs> and you're gonna see, it's gonna be in my room, but I'm not gonna do Maybe I'll do a little bit of it today. I really don't think I'm gonna get much done today, to be honest. So this is room makeover part one, which is honestly moving around the furniture and cleaning. And eventually you, my hair might shift into a hair mask and I'll probably start doing laundry too because that's every Sunday for me. <laughs> okay, so if you watched my last video, you know I am reading The Atlas Six and on acting by Stanford Meisner. These two books are books that I'm kind of reading piecemeal, like slowly but surely. But because I am rearranging my room, I thought, <laughs> let's pick out an audiobook. It's a perfect way to get more reading in. But which book should I read? So I'm thinking romance would be fun. And I stole this book from my mommy recently because she didn't realize this was an adult romance book and she's not about that life. I was like, mom, this is a steamy romance. Um, you probably won't like it. And she was like, please take it off my shelf. And I was like, I sure will. So yeah, that's an option. That would be fun. But I guess something that's been on my TBR and has been urgent is The Partner Plot by Christina Forrest. She is a favorite author of mine. I already read the first book in this kind of companion series, The Neighbor Favor, and I just love her writing. That both their careers could benefit from the marriage. Whoa. See, okay, I've gotta, can't read anymore because I'm definitely gonna spoil myself. So I think I've decided on listening to this audiobook. I do have it through Libby. Highly recommend if you don't have Libby, download it. Free books through your library.
friends you gotta ignore the air that's coming from the window it's open it's hot i'm sweaty but look how amazing my room is oh wow maybe i'll turn on the light to help oh my god oh my god look at all this space but look at the new reading nook i still have to like organize everything on the shelves just look how look how cozy look how wonderful this this looks inviting i am literally going to sit right there and take a little nap i don't know if you saw but i had a little low blood sugar moment and i'm exhausted so we will see when i continue doing everything and i'll do a book update too oh, the book is so good i'm 30 percent of the way through it's me why is violet me oops <laughs> okay i still need to do my hair i didn't do my hair but it's the next day it's monday and i am 140 pages into the partner plot by christina forrest so i'm gonna do a little reading update and a room update because i am going to finish a few things sadly i don't think i'm gonna be able to hang my curtains which means i will save the the like final reveal of my room placement and things for maybe another video um because i know i want to do a book haul like a summer book haul of all the books i got recently and a little bit of an unhaul because your girl needs to lighten her load okay i'm like why do i have so many books that i'm not interested in because i'm too i'm consuming too much consuming too much and i'm trying to learn to be better okay so christina forrest is just writing about my life apparently that's how i feel violet the middle sister who always feels like she is like the you know the creative weirdo in the group uh, her sisters have like real jobs and stuff and like she's just like eh, i want to be a fashionista not married has not good romantic relationships for the most part and she has this really cute high school sweetheart what i love about christina forrest though i will say is that she invests her, the beginning of her romance novels with a lot of history so i feel like it's so easy to care for her characters the last book in that series the neighbor favor this one can you see it can you can you see it you got a lot of their history through emails and their communication with each other and then i feel like this one we got a bunch of cute flashbacks of her being in high school and him and all the kind of trouble they were having uh now there's a 10-year jump and it's a fake marriage trope mm -hmm. it's i'm having such a jolly good time reading this <laughs> i don't know why i said jolly good time that's very odd it's not like christmas themed at all i'm just I'm enjoying myself. I like Violet. I like Xavier. I believe in them and their love, but also believe in the complications that they have faced together. But also at the same time, I'm eating it up. I'm like, let's ship these two together and they've already slept together. And the little quote on the front, just so you know, is what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Oh. The shelves are actually looking pretty good. I think I'm just gonna do a whole reorganization because I do kind of want my favorite series all together. And then looking, swerving around here, as you can see, I have some storage bins I was going through and trying to declutter. Uh, so I'm gonna tuck those back either under my bed or in the closet. Um, the desk, I still have to rotate, but the drawers, can you see? There are drawers. Those drawers over here because that'll make it easier to get to my closet. I need to fix these lights and then I want to rotate this art that's behind me. I can't believe I, I like my room. <gasps> uh, unheard of. Unheard of. But I have a lot of things to do today. I did just get back from work so it's now like 5 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna read for fun and drink a little coffee just to reward myself because you go to work and you deserve a reward who wants to work nobody so i'm gonna make myself a little coffee and read a little and then get to all i have some emails that i need to do i have some acting stuff that i need to do which is fun and then not so fun other work things to do <laughs> i don't know why i'm so in love with this even though it's like literally the exact same it's just on a different wall maybe i just craved change silly me Not me about to cry. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> my nose is gonna start running. I just got to the cutest part. I'm like 55% of the way through page. Let's see, let's see. I was just looking at it. I dog eared the page because I was like, <laughs> my emotions. Also, yes, the lights did fall. I will <laughs> fix them later. But oh my god, my boogies are trying to escape my nose. Page 206. It was so touchy. I don't know if I want to say it. I don't think it spoils anything. But she like, I missed you. I don't know why this made me so sensitive, but I was just like <laughs> So yeah, the update is the lights fell, but I hung these. Are they crooked? It looks fine. It's already 8 o'clock and I feel like I haven't done enough uh, uh, So I think I'm gonna give up on the decorating for today and get back to like actual work, but oh, yeah, I also did I did switch the drawers so that way there's more space by the closet but this is such a great feeling all i want to do is read Urgh. i kind of want to get to the next spicy scene because like the tension is so good in this book i'm oh. gonna have to ignore the weirdness happening behind me because yes the lights did fall and i still haven't fixed them um but <laughs> okay i finished the adult work that i have to do it's much later and i think we've gotten to the scene <laughs> So, you know what I did? Made myself a salad that has protein in it. I'm trying to get better at eating protein. But I'm excited for my little salad, but I'm most excited for my little glass of wine and my romance book, okay? I've decided to celebrate for no good reason. <laughs> oh, is baby awake? Baby! Hi! Hi! Why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? Hi! Hello? What a cutie baby. Oh, thanks for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. Ah, uh -uh, you can't come into the room though. Oh. Back it up. Back it up. Okay, you can lay right there. You cute sweet little angel. You watching me to flick the light? Ready? Bye bye. Um, completely forgot what I was gonna say. So technically, I need to start getting ready for bed. Um, if I want to get my full seven hours, which I might have to sacrifice, depending on how good this book is. But that would be a tear. Hey, I didn't say you could come in. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. With his cute little face. <gasps> Hi. Hello. Thanks for your kisses. Honestly, having a dog is so awesome. Um. Oh, oh, there goes the phone. What was I gonna say? Sacrifice my sleep uh, because the book is good. Oh, but that's a mistake because tomorrow's my long day. I work from 8 to 3.30 and then immediately take the bus up into town for my acting class um, and then get home hopefully before midnight and then get back to work tomorrow. What you doing? Hey, hey, no. What are you doing? Come. Okay, friends. It is much later, almost 10, and it's time for me to shower and hit the hay, but I fixed my lighting. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a whole lot brighter in here. It feels like Paris. Wait, I don't know how to show you this. Look how pretty. I don't know why this makes me so happy. And then I have the paintings up. Again, don't look at how crooked they are. Just ignore that. And then I'm planning on doing maybe a little paint block here. I've got a free sample of paint. I think I'm just doing a yellow square and then sticking my vision board in it. So that way it's like a vocal point. Oh! <laughs> of course I caught that on camera. Oh no. Maybe hanging up the lights wasn't a good idea just yet. <laughs> Dang it! And sadly, that one also not strong enough to hold just yet so i'm gonna leave the hook stuck to the wall and hopefully it gets more adhesive i feel like my room is is coming together and it's it's feeling really cool i can't wait i can't wait to get these curtains up all my prints up <sighs> the bed is gonna be so cozy with all these lights i did manage to finally stop reading the partner plot it was very difficult on my behalf just just saying. Um, God, I hope none of these lights continue to fall. That'd be kind of scary in the middle of my sleep. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, finally put the book down. I'm gonna shower, get ready for bed. Tomorrow is the busiest day of the week. I most likely won't vlog at all. 
so excuse me i will probably see you wednesday where i don't know i might have a drill to hang up my curtains the lights may all fall down who knows that's the exciting part